Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? On an absolutely rainy, disgusting Ohio day. Look at my driveway here. You see that the sheeting across it? Typically, it goes down the drain. I'll show you guys real quick. Typically, it just comes down the drain. It's so much it's actually just running down the driveway it's actually washing my gravel out pretty bad at the end here but just look at it Right there. Let me see if I can get it on. Just hold it there for a minute. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to shift. Back up just a hair, bed. All right. Yeah, boy. All right, so I can't just pull this and move it up a pin because I don't have any visible. So we're just gonna go ahead and crank it. All right, go ahead and pull it up out of here. Angle to the right a little bit. I don't know if she was sinking. A lot of water in here right now, guys. We've been getting, look at the dump trailer, how far it was sank. It's the most water we've seen in here so far. Definitely giving us a little bit of an eye opener here where the building's gonna go. Got a little bit of water settling right up front here. Now, I'm not so much worried about it because this isn't, this is level, but the pad's actually in the building is gonna probably be up another foot or so. So this just shows me though, like, hey, the water's coming down, pulling here. So drainage for sure. All right, so while I was showing you the water, TQ hopped out here real quick just to finish up the safety chains. Simply guys, we're about, 60% sure we have a buyer for just the dump trailer. I know some of you were asking if we would sell the whole thing. As of right now, I don't want to sell the whole thing because like I explained the other day, we have plans to modify the shell, the roof bows, and the leaf debris lower loader into our uh, next setup. We got a lot of rain today, guys, but it's giving us what we needed, honestly, to see where we're getting the most amount of water. And with the salt bin just being built, I'll show you guys we're getting it in here as well which i'm not like upset about this this isn't an issue but it shows us like hey it's coming in and uh just sitting here so it looks like it's honestly coming in from this back corner and then coming down and then running on out we'll get this taken care of whenever we put in the blacktop cement whatever we end up doing we'll just grade it away and i've already explained to you guys that we're going to do a drain down and around these are definitely problems but they're problems that we can uh, alleviate before we do any kind of building or anything uh, that'll be here structurally. Obviously, we're going to do the, the roof and walls and stuff here, but I'm talking about the ground itself. You know, we can grade that so it sheds the water away. Uh, also, once we get seed and get that all taken care of the way we want all the way around, uh, we'll be able to do that as well. But yeah, kind of gives you an idea how much uh, water is coming. All right, let me hop out here. I'll be real quick because I know I just showed you guys this pretty much, but as you can see, we're not getting, we're not getting a ton. I mean, it's there, but it's not like pouring, if you know what I'm saying. 
coming in there and then boom i'm not gonna walk all the way down through there again as you guys can see we're getting really really good drainage on down through there it's not overflowing it's just continuing on down to the creek All right, so if you've never backed in a hole like that, it's like backing into a cave. It's pitch black, can't see anything. We got it then. Well, Dan, we're not all six foot tall like you, bud. Hi right, guys, got Dan Eden's keeper. He's uh, huh? Eden. Eden keeper. Sorry, I put an S on it. Eden's Eden keeper. We got Mike up in there, Noah. They make my life so much easier. Pays really well. Like to have good friends. <laughs> We're here at Tim's place. Tim built this. Tim Kasky built this. So we're here disassembling it because we got a tsunami going on outside right now. I'm gonna keep talking because there's music playing and I don't wanna get copyrighted. What's up there, Noah? Not much. How's the OnlyFans channel uh, treating you these days? Uh, it's doing good. Yeah? It's doing good. I think I got like one follower finally. One follower? Yeah. Dude, that's more than me. Yeah. What's up, Mike? What's up, Sean? There you go. It's me, yeah. Not a boat. Well, that was the easy part. So if you guys are wondering, we're a bunch of bored landscapers because we ain't got no snow to push. We have nothing. I don't think this guy knows how to back up this truck. Oh, throw that result for him, Michael. Yeah. He said, put it back in. Let me take away your video camera. Put it back. Cameras. Backup camera. Straight back. Keep coming. All right, guys, let Mike pull my trailer out real quick. I wanted to show you this. Tim has a three-piece snap-on tool set for sale. I don't know what it's worth. Uh, a little bit older of a unit, but still looks in really good shape. If any of you guys are interested, email me a number, and I'll shoot it over to Tim, and I can get you the contact information. Email spencerslc84 at gmail.com. I know these are outrageous, so... Yeah, I would say right there, just from what I know, four grand, I'd probably say. Could be wrong. I, I don't own a snap on tool myself, but that's all. Nice. 
que é. The thing still works, so. Yeah, and the thing of it is, toolbox is that high. I'm too short. What do you want for it, Tim? 3600 3600 bucks, guys. Come and take it. What are you doing? Hi, Goofy. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, as you can see, we got a little bit of snow, but nothing the ground temps, guys. The weather has been all over the place here this year in Ohio. <clears throat> but it is what it is. All right, out here at Schleybaz, you guys know we store the blower here at Schleybaz. They actually have an area where you can rent a storage space. Uh, I know some of you asking why we don't put it in our storage facility. This is a lot easier here. We have the tow motor available. We put it on a skid. I guess I'll just show you. Stick around. We'll uh, break it down real quick. It doesn't take long. Good. Uh, am I against it? Go up a hair more. Right there. Might have to have you go up just a little more. Uh -huh. Hi, Ruben. have to ratchet strap back. Yeah, I'll back up. Watch out, babe. It's gonna tip. It is? Yeah. Maybe back it up real quick. Let's sit it down and maybe we can run, adjust it by hand. I was kind of wondering why it was tipping because it had never done this before. So when I got home, I looked up one of the older videos when we took it off. And simply, guys, we needed a bigger skid here. Don't mind me knocking my head off that pipe. We needed a little bit bigger of a skid. I think last year we used, I don't know, a wider one or something. We were able to get a lot more of the unit uh, onto the skid. But this time, for some reason, it was just a bit too far off and uh, a little bit too heavy on that one side. But we got it over here. As long as you're not full wheel driving, we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> 
You want that off there? No, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Keep it low. I will. <laughs> goes on the bottom right here yep and the top one there's only two on this one right there now when I slide this in there put a drop of bolt in I have to move it around a little bit Yeah, it's there. Okay, go ahead. Uh, go forward. There we go. There we go. my fingers. <laughs>